My name is David Samai. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I was born in Pahal. Uh, I must say, yeah, Central Pahal. Mm -hmm. We lived at that time. Okay. I'm on the outskirts now, <laughs> but we lived right in the middle of Pahal. Uh, uh, I come from a big family of uh, six brothers. We were seven, all of them. And uh, we attended school, school nearest to us, was still also in Central Park, but in walking distance, mm -hmm. uh, which was all good. Uh, I went to high school and did a course in, in, uh, in music, mm -hmm. became a music teacher, and uh, started teaching here in Palm. My first, first post was uh, uh, right up in what we call the Boer Perro, mm -hmm. and uh, that is why I started. I later became principal of that school, and then the pop department uh, sent me to a school here called uh, uh, William Lloyd Primary School. Mm -hmm. And I was the principal of the William Lloyd Primary School for 20 years. Okay. And, uh, being a musician and being a person who studied music, as principal, I always pushed towards music, and uh, music sort of became part of the school. Mm. And uh, at the same time, I was also a member of the Bethel Congregational Church, okay. which was also in walking distance in the, in the center of power. Mm -hmm. And uh, later I became organist and choir master, and uh, that is when I had some problems for people who had to move. Mm. That was in the 60s? Or was it that was in the 60s, yes. Mm. Uh, so, so as people were moving out of Paul, they were too far away from the church. The church was still uh, mm. in central Paul, in a in in rose street. Mm -hmm. And uh, people couldn't walk here from what we call the Rug to the street every time for a choir practice or, or a service every Sunday, that, that, that was difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that, was, that was how one of my problems started because, because I was also the, the, the choir master of the church and uh, they couldn't come to choir practice regularly. Understood. Did the church building remain with the congregation or...? At that time, the church building was still mm. in the in Pau. Yeah. Although at later, at later on we started our own church, built our own church, and the church is now here. Okay. And, and that, that, was, that was also the reason for people who have moved away from the church mm -hmm. for quite a few miles. Mm. Uh, uh, they brought the church nearer to the people. We, we had to build a new church. And they compensated you for your old building? Yes, but how much? You always lose. You always lose. You always lose. Mm. And uh, we, we've got a lot of church now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been organist of that church now for more than 60 years. And enjoy it. And the problems that I had at that time was members complaining, uh, we cannot didn't go I practice regularly anymore. Mm. Uh, I mean, which was, which was uh, the truth. Mm. You, you couldn't expect take the people away from the vicinity of the church, put them away, far away, and now how can I expect them to, to come to quiet practice regularly? So how did the members take these uh, removals? Uh, they, they, were, they were very much... Uh, Against we had our matches and things and whatnot, uh, but what 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 could they do? At that time, our people didn't have many cars like now. Mm -hmm. Most of the people living over here have the cars now mm -hmm. and can move, so they had to walk all these distances, you know. So there was resistance from within the community. There against was resistance them. from the church, from the not only our church, mm -hmm. from from the whole of the community, all the churches. Okay. Because all the all, all the churches practically moved. There isn't any more. Now I must talk about the colored church or a church that colored people 
mm. uh, used to go uh, in in the, the dorp. Mm. I, I do understand. They had to move, mm. and so they practically every every church had to build their own church mm. over on the side. Okay. The, 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 the government then uh, people of color should live on the east side of the river. Mm. Or, yeah, yeah, the, and the, the whites on this side. So the, the river was a dividing, a line. dividing line, you know. Mm. But it was a quite big distance, mm -hmm. big distance. And uh, as, a, as a regular churchgoer, as an organist, it uh, upset me a lot and hampered me in my work mm. for choir practices, you know. The church says you must have a choir practice once a week. The choir must uh, uh, must sing every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And how can they sing? They can't practice. That is true. That, so is that, true. that, 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 that work, uh, uh, the standard of that work was lowered quite, quite a lot. And uh, I, I, I regard that as one of the, the, the big. Uh, Crosses against apartheid mm. that the church had to remove, mm. had to move. Mm. It, 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 it was a, a they were playing their cards well. Mm. If we get the churches away, and the people will come. Mm. Right? I think that was a was a big move of them. Okay. And so also the schools and all those schools now in yeah, in, in this vicinity, which mm. they call Bar East. When did the schools reintegrate? When was it, did it become okay for black children to go to white school, formerly white schools again? Oh, the, the, the department, I think. I, I can't put, uh, put an actual date to it. But uh, there was the rule that they opened up. No, I, 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 can't, I can't put a date to it, mm -hmm. but it is, it's quite some time ago. And is it successful? Are people actually mixing again after being separated? In your opinion? You, you know what, even even that move of them, accepting, uh, accepting scholars of color, mm. uh, they targeted sportsmen, mm. so that these uh, girls and boys doing rugby sport can come to their school. Okay. But the, the way we really lost <coughs> was that our best students mm. also went oh. over to the other side. Okay. Yes. Uh, because they had English medium, mm. and uh, so they can uh, learn English as well as well African exercise they, 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 they knew. Mm. Uh, but uh, and, and if you look to the results nowadays, and if they want to compare, uh, they compare the white schools over that side side to to those in East Park, mm -hmm. and say there's a difference. And they're saying, "But you are lying now, because our best students are there." Mm. So can you say, yeah? You 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 can actually say, "Oh, that girl, just for sake, for name's sake." Uh, uh, let, let us call it June. Mm -hmm. We've got an A there that is one of our A students. Yeah. They'd stayed. Mm -hmm. You get what they make my, what they say. And uh, you can never compare the standard. Mm. Say it's much higher there. Mm. It has to be because our best students went there. And they are better resourced. They're, they're better resourced, yes. They have more money and more facilities. That's, that, that's right. That, 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 that is what uh, I have uh, really against apartheid as, as, far as, uh, uh, as far as education is concerned. Mm. Um, if those top students who went there come back to our schools now, mm. we will have as many A's as they have, mm. as, as they get. Nice. So one must never compare mm. the schools in the west side of the river to the schools over here. Okay. Because everybody, I mean, the, the mm. they do their best to get somewhere. Mm. 
And it's, it's, not, it's not always uh, to blame the teachers. Uh, you are you, you are no good teachers. Uh, mm -hmm. You are uh, the whites uh, is much higher. Uh, so I send my my, my, my child over there. Uh, and that is as far as, as, far as the um, uh, uh, education was concerned. Mm -hmm. My subject, music, I remember that I lost so many choir members because they couldn't come over mm? to, to, to practice at the church because the churches were still there, mm -hmm. but still on the west side. And and uh, you couldn't have a decent choir practice. Uh, uh, where I scored, mm -hmm. I took all the people that I knew who belonged to the different churches, mm -hmm. and I, 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 I brought together a, a, a kind of a, a, a dorp score, mm -hmm. right? And that choir did so well. That was in 1963. Mm -hmm. I established the Paul Bell Canto Choir. And that choir did quite well. Mm -hmm. Because uh, not only were they interested in, uh, in, 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 in doing new music mm -hmm. and doing it well, but because of the numbers that came to the centralized choir now, mm -hmm. there were some of the best singers that were in the other churches. True. And the choir always uh, did well mm -hmm. with a few broadcasts and to, tours mm -hmm. all over South Africa. But uh, being a music teacher, at that time, uh, I was so much interested in, in music also. But uh, although here in Pal, in Pal East, mm -hmm. we had many churches with good choir masters, mm -hmm. some of the best. I would call that the 40s, 50s up to the 70s, the golden, the, the, the golden time of, of, of choir right. music mm. in Pau. Okay. Big names. Anyone you remember? People all older than me. Mm. I was the youngest. Oh, okay. And I was a person like um, Mr. Ben Martin. Mm. He was uh, one choir. There was a, a person like Mr. Bali. Mm. There was a person like Mr. Salzer who was uh, of the uh, 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 of other church, and and so the choir masters were there, mm -hmm. but the members had to leave because they couldn't. And uh, I, I I I built a very strong choir that way, and uh, we were even uh, affiliated to the Eon group. Okay. And you know one of the big bigger works that we did, this Paul Bell Canto Choir was to invite the Eon group to do an uh, opera here, mm -hmm. La Traviata. Mm -hmm. And so they said, but can't we use some of your members? I said, by, by all means, use them. What do you want? Mm -hmm. They wanted a bigger choir. I said, my choir is there. Mm -hmm. And we had to learn that whole opera of uh, La Traviata in Italian. How long did it take? Uh, it's three hours or so usually. I mean the, 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 the opera. Yeah, but how long did the training take to learn? No, no you see, we, we worked this way. Uh, at that time, at that time, uh, uh, this part of the country choir, part of uh, my job was to extend the choice in music. Mm. Because all the churches just sang church music, mm. hymns, uh, and choral pieces, and so on. Mm -hmm. And there's more to music than that, that, that et cetera. Yes, there, there, there is the um, uh, lighter music, mm -hmm. there is a, uh, 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 what kind of, what uh, can you say now? Classic. Pardon? The classic music. Pardon? Classic music. Yes, 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 the, 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 the classic music. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, singing in different languages. Mm -hmm. And that I could do with this choir now because it's, uh, it was a good choir. Mm. There's, there's a picture of the choir. Okay. The we the choir. We'll take pictures of that too. The Paul, so, Paul Belcanto Choir. Paul Belcanto. Uh, they asked me, why do you call him the Paul Belcanto Choir? Mm. I said, Canto, 
mm-hmm. means to sing, to mm-hmm. chant, to mm-hmm. sing. Yeah, the cantor, yeah. the chanter. To sing like a bell. Mm-hmm. And uh, I uh, always had the reminder that I, I cry, but you, you don't sound like bells now. <laughs> it's horrible to see you now. But, uh, but that is not really, uh, uh, it was a, a good choir. So, sorry to... Can, 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 can you think what a big thing it was for us to study with the Eon group the whole La Traviata? I can imagine. Adequate. The whole La Traviata in Italian. Italian yeah, sure. It's quite an undertaking. But you know what, 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 what that gave me satisfaction? For the first time in Pau, mm-hmm. we had Traviata over two nights here in our own hall mm-hmm. and not in the town hall. <laughs> Must have been quite the victory. Uh, a big, big, big victory. Everybody, so everybody who wanted to see the, 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 uh, mm. uh, La Traviata must come to us. Good, good. So, Mr. Smai, tell us about your involvement with tennis. How did you end up involved with all that? A big thing. I, uh, let me tell you, I got to the tennis court. One day my father said, uh, uh, you, you, you must go with me to the tennis court. He, he also he all played, mm-hmm. but just for exercise, and he never was a good player, and uh, he never would have become a big, big player. But he, on his bicycle, on the frame, mm-hmm. he went, took me to the, to the tennis court to come, the, come go here for us balla aan vandaag. Ah, be a ball boy. Be a ball boy. And uh, every time, every time there was a lull, people rested at us, take a racket, and he mm. did over, run around, he did from that side to the other side, doing it, and run like a mad person, mm. up and down, and eat the balls. And that is how I started my tennis. Okay. My father couldn't even tell me anything about tennis. Mm-hmm. He reminded me of one thing. Whenever you want to play tennis properly, Always do your best, mm. just your best, and that, that was uh, how I became a, a, a good tennis player because I was never satisfied with myself. Okay. So uh, uh, I was a ball boy then, and uh, when a, a club member couldn't play in a match, <laughs> the, the the substitute. Yeah, yeah, I was a substitute <laughs> to play in the house, so I got the. Uh, got in with it, step by step, step by step. Mm-hmm. But I was in a, a youngster, and the tennis players at that time were all big people. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you know, I'll say, he could have shoot up on a black blade. And, uh, but uh, I didn't leave it there. At our home, we had quite a big backyard, mm-hmm. and uh, I built my own tennis court <laughs> and made my own net mm-hmm. through my own lines, uh, much smaller uh, to, to, to the measurements of mm-hmm. the tennis court, but I had a tennis court, and that is how I started playing, playing tennis. Okay. Uh, one day my father came to me, I think I was 14 then, he said, I've entered you to play in a championship. I said, all right. Do you know what year this was, sorry? I was 14. This was 19... 45, 44, mm-hmm. about then. I, uh, I've entered you to a championship, uh, practice a lot, and uh, so the day came to go to Cape Town to go and play there. Uh, he didn't find out what kind of a championship was. It, it was the Western Province Tennis Annual Tennis Championship. Mm. Then we found out that this is a championship for seniors. Oh. <laughs> there were no juniors in, in, to, to play in, 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 in the said, no, I, I went by train to Maitland to go and play there. Mm-hmm. Now must I come back again? Mm. So I told him, he told me, man, go and play. Uh, you got a court at home. There are lines. 
these lines are just in different places. Mm. But but you got an idea of what a tennis court looks like. <laughs> so you go and play. I I, I played and uh, in the first round. Mm -hmm. I won't never forget that. I met the number two seeded player. Mm. <laughs> and I lost six love, six love. The first first round. Mm. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it because it's different. But I'm playing a real tennis here mm. in a championship. Uh, Lighty as I was at that time. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Then uh, <coughs> next year, I entered myself again, mm -hmm. and uh, I fared much better, but I lost to the same man, mm. and this time seven five seven five. Oh, so close! So, so, so I was, I was getting yeah. somewhere. Mm -hmm. And remember, these people, they, they were all grown ups. I'm still a light a small kid. I could have played even bare feet. <laughs> I would have fell out of place, out of place. Uh, and then the third year when we meet again, I, I beat him oh. in the, in the semi-final. Mm -hmm. In the final, I beat him. And I, I made the promise to myself, you will never beat me again. Mm -hmm. But I am going to give you a love set in every, in every match. <laughs> because you, you gave me two love sets when I started. You didn't think it's Mark Clancy. <laughs> Give him a chance. Mm -hmm. And he, I, I played so many times against him. Mm -hmm. And he always got a love set. And, uh, and so that was... Uh, then I entered the uh, other tournaments also. Mm -hmm. Did well. Uh, did fairly well, and uh, I won the first post-war senior championship. That was in 1946. And uh, after I won the, the, the for four years, mm -hmm. my mum, somebody told me, you know what, he, he, something's happening here. I said, no, that's it. They said they could lend him collecting money to mm. send you overseas. Mm. I said, but that's not a bad thing. It's a nice idea. So these people had come together mm. had seen that I, I, I could, could make mm. a, a, a thing of it. And they collected money, enough money. And so they informed the South African Tennis Board, this is what we've been doing. Uh, uh, would you like to help us? Mm. Because we've got a player here who can represent us mm. overseas, who want to send him overseas, so they can go and learn further there. Mm. <coughs> this was all well accepted, and I, th I think within a month, the whole country was busy co collecting money. Okay. And uh, I was, I was uh, on my way overseas. That was in 1949. Mm. Uh, I was still a uh, hoinky. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know really what's going for what, but I went and uh, I, I played for the first time. I played at Wimbledon. Mm. Uh, although I didn't, uh, I mean, I got through the qualifying rounds. Mm -hmm. You have to play three qualifying rounds. Okay. I got all three rounds without losing a set. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was good. Uh, very good public, uh, 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 it got well publicized in newspapers. Show you the just as well. And uh, they feel that they, they, they've done a good thing. And I came back after three months. Uh, the South African board had to pay every, mm -hmm. everything. Uh, a big joke about getting a passport, you know. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what I mean. Mm, getting a passport at, to leave at, was easy. At, at, that, at, at that time, uh, I, so I spoke to people how, what about the passport? Yes, we, we must get a passport. Then I gave them idea. Because look, I, at, at that time, was, I was already a teacher. Mm -hmm. 
I said, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher going overseas for experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that, I don't know if that softened him, mm. but uh, that was uh, sort of the uh, big thing that happened. Uh, yes, it be somebody asking to go overseas uh, for experience, mm. nothing about it. We got the passport. Mm. And I went overseas, I went to my, 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 uh, my three rounds easily. And uh, I played at Wimbledon, lost in the first round. And, uh, but then as I went around, I saw the people that I lost against mm. were people coming from other countries who were Davis Cup players, who were champions there. Mm. And I had no preparation whatsoever here. Mm. I guess who must I practice to <laughs> come to standard? On that level. Oh, at, that, at, that, at that level. Mm. Um, so when I went in 1951 again, mm -hmm. uh, it went much better. Actually, my record still, still stands and I didn't have to qualify. Oh. I played in tournaments before Wimbledon mm -hmm. and um, uh, those, those tournaments all cut because oh. some of the people who were accepted at Wimbledon played in those tournaments mm -hmm. and I beat some of them. Mm -hmm. For instance, I beat the, the British number two player, okay. which, 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 which is a high thing. Mm. But Britain's number two player. Uh, I, I, I beat but Britain's number three also. I beat number one of Czechoslovakia at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so a lot of those players I, 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 I beat. But, but I knew now what to do. Mm. First day I didn't know mm. because I was playing on lawn. Mm -hmm. And that was another yeah. big factor. It's a bit slower than playing on a clay court. Much faster. Much faster, faster yes. Uh, so what did I have to do? I had to work out. Mm. I had to, every morning at 8 o'clock, go off to the court and go and practice. Mm. My matches started at uh, 9 or 10. Mm -hmm. Play my three matches for the day. And in the evening before I go home, put in another two, three hours of practicing. Mm. And that, that made, made the job because at that time you could, could ask anybody, come and practice a little bit with me. Mm. Even of the top players, mm -hmm. they would play, with, they were stingy, mm. uh, they, they, they would play. That. So I, I, I asked them and I practiced and practiced and it was that year when I lost in the third round, mm. which is at, at Wimbledon very high mm -hmm. because that means that you are you lost in the last 32, mm. the last 32 players, mm -hmm. to be one of the 32, I mean, every, everybody's wish overseas. And you're one of the top 32 in the world, automatically. But the one 32, yes. Uh, and and, 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 and not, 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 not only that, uh, by that time, uh, I would say, everybody knew me in England mm. and the players from other countries also, they know me, they asked me to come and practice with me a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Not yeah. I had to hunt for people to practice against, they asked me, come and eat tomorrow morning with me and this and that. And that all helped. But considering the political situation in South Africa at the time, why did you come back? Because a lot of, look at what is the... Cricket player, um, yeah. the Oliveira, yeah. went to at England. The same time. Yeah, around about able, the same time. Know. So you know why I came back? Because I promised I will not stay away from South Africa. Mm. People have helped me, mm. they've collected money for me. Mm. It, it was my duty to come back, mm. take tenders by the scuff of the neck, and take it out as far mm. as possible. Mm. And. Uh, even some of the white South Africans talked to me straight away, are you going back? Because they, they now see I've beaten them and I've beaten the others, I could, I could get somewhere. Mm. I said, man, I have promised myself I'm going to come back. Mm. And so I, I, I did come back. I know and one of them, one of them said, mm. <laughs> well, you wanted to be treated like a dog, <laughs> a Jewish, 
You don't also play tennis. You want you 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 afraid to be treated like a dog in your own country? I said, well, no, I know I have something to share mm. with with my people, mm. and uh, I so I uh, always came back, went again another year or two, came back again, but in the meantime I was growing older, mm. and my my later results were not as good as my. Results when I, when I was still in the early 20s. Okay. You know? I mean, that stands to reason. Was there support for your sporting career in South Africa when you came back? And I mean now, after the 50s, in the 60s, up to 80s, and you said you were still playing competitively. Yes, yes. I played in all the tournaments. And there was nothing against a person of colour enrolling in tournaments where your white players are playing? No, one. Uh, in when I went 49, 51, that was still a rule. Colors play by themselves, blacks play by themselves, mm. why should we play by themselves? Mm. They wouldn't, wouldn't mix. Mm. But of course, the big friends here overseas, mm. I asked them, come and eat with me a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and I, they never said no. Mm. And so I would go to, to our own court and uh, we, would, we would practice there. The place that we, 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 pra we practiced regularly was the University of Cape, Cape Town. Okay. Uh, the chap was in charge of tennis. Mm. He says he's just treating me as a student. <laughs> but uh, you can always get over these things later. Mm. And, uh, but I, I, up to today, I feel very happy that I, d I did the, the, the right thing. That you came back. To, to come back because our tennis went up like that. Okay. Tennis went up like that. Then I I I, I also did a few. Uh, I went to see the top coaches overseas, mm -hmm. a few exam examinations, and uh, I, 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 which I passed. So the South African tennis board called me in one day and said. That was in the, anywhere in the, near the 70s. While I was overseas, the tennis was flourishing. But when I came back, mm -hmm. everything died. The, the big thing is was the past, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, and then, the tennis is going down. We would like you to, to take the lead mm -hmm. in getting our tennis up again mm -hmm. to where it has been. Uh, are you prepared to do it? Yes, you're prepared, but it's going to cost money. If you can supply the money mm. or find the sponsors, I'll do what is necessary. Mm -hmm. Because I've, I've got the credits uh, to, 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 to do these things. Mm. It isn't necessary, we must get somebody else, or get a white person mm. to come and, come and do it for us. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, they, they cut the money, uh, and we had. Our first, I suggested to our board, let us get coaches. Then we did. We only had about three coaches then. Mm. I hear somewhere in Joburg, and, and and somebody in Cape Town. Let us get coaches. Yeah, but we we are with. See, I'll, I'll I'll do I'll do the, the, the teaching. I'm a teacher by myself, and uh, I know how to go about it. Mm. And teaching tennis is no different than teaching a subject in school. Okay. Uh, so they got the money, and we had our first, our first get together. Mm -hmm. The province, each province, had to send three or four mm -hmm. of the young people who would like to be trained as coaches. Mm -hmm. And we had our first coaching school here in Power. Okay. On our tennis courts. Mm -hmm. And the first year, we had 45 coaches who can, who can work with little kids. Mm -hmm. And we went on like that until we had a number of coaching. You, you, go, you can go to any, any, every house. Mm -hmm. You will see they are busy coaching. And it will be perhaps somebody who had been to that school mm -hmm. or has learned from that person. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that is how our standard uh, it was good all the time, and well, tennis became popular. Was tennis hard hit by the sports boycott? 
Yes. It, it was a very hard hit with a, a, a sports boycott. Um, be, because there's, we always had to go to people to help us from uh, balls, running tournaments, and that, you know. Uh, so so we, 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 had, we had a problem there. Yes. But the main thing is we, once we had coaches, mm. <clears throat> those coaches had to work, and I had to tour the country every holiday. Every Friday went through holiday. Mm. Then I'm in my car and I'm around the country. You see how you're getting on. What can we do for you? And did you do this or do, do that? Mm. And with three years, within three years, we had our own junior championship. Mm. And that was the answer to, to, to why our tennis got so up to a standard again. Okay. Okay. So you see, Important my, my, um, my promise mm. to come back, it, it, it was it, needed. It was needed. You I made did, the sacrifice. I did, I did the right thing. And I, I feel very happy mm. that I can even now go to any, 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 any province. Mm -hmm. And they, they name Samai is here, mm. then they will come. Lastly, Mr. Samai, do you feel that you have gotten the recognition for the work you've done? Like, do you feel that you've been acknowledged enough with people that say, look, we acknowledge your, con your significant contribution to sport. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's a good question, but I, I was never worried about that. My worry was, yeah, are juniors that mm. has to be coached. And I have to see that there are enough coaches. Mm. And if I, 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 if I made these coaches by training them, mm. then, then I was satisfied. I did my bit, and I wasn't worried about the others. So this, uh, that thing, was well, a good thing. Mm. That green blazer that I got, I, I accept it because I, I didn't work for it. Mm. It was, it was a kind of a thank you very much mm. for what you have done. Okay. Yeah? So I'm quite satisfied.